All right, welcome again to the Large Shelf Farm. This is going to be the processing inside of cleaning out the quail. It's a very easy. I prefer this much more than the chickens. Uh, these were my dispatch shears. Uh, I use different ones for cleaning, and I'll show you why. These are the, I believe they're Gerber or Gerier ones. That little hook, you could see a little curvature on this blade. I find that to be perfect when you go into the quail and cut along the spine. So I'm going to give this to my assistant again. All right, you ready, Meg? Yep. I snip off the feet. Okay, now you're going to want to find the spine and the butt. And this little hook part, you send that right in here and you cut right alongside the spine all the way up. And that little hook keeps it against the top of the rib cage and keeps you from cutting the guts inside. Cut on each side. Put your shears down, take this, grab the spine, pull it right out. You can see these are the two testes of the male inside. You've got a lung on this side. You want to take that out. A lung on this side. Pop that out. That's the little white piece. All the intestines. If you reach in here and kind of sweep in with your finger, you can see it. my finger on the other side. Just pull that right out. And yank that right out. There you go. And there's the little heart. You want to try that, Landon? A true warrior would eat the raw heart. You don't think so? All right, and that, that's about as easy as it gets. Right here, sometimes, I just retrim the back where the butt is to cut that out the on butt. each side. Yeah, the butt, the butt cheekers. And that's it. Let me rinse this off, snip up here. Let me rinse this off and I'll show you the finished product. So much faster than doing chicken. Whoa, Make sure you clean all the insides out really well. Nice cold. Tap water works great. Dad. All right. And here you go. There's a nice little quail, all processed, ready for the grill. If you want, you can split them right in half, put them on the grill, or butterfly them this way. I do a quail and rice recipe. Little piece of the lung left there. Just pop that right out again and rinse it. And I throw it into my bucket. I think that was all. There you go. And I've got a few more left to do. All right. Again, thank you for joining us here on the Large Shelf Farm and how I like to process the quail. Thank you.